In this video, we will be discussing about a powerful technique called revision, using which you can rewrite your memory of a stressful event. So in this video, we will be discussing what this technique does, what is our purpose of using it, how to go about doing it, and then we will briefly look into some concepts of why it works. So let's begin. Revision is an astonishingly powerful technique which is extremely fun to do. Plus, as you use it, it will also increase you in your optimism and creative thinking. As mentioned, using this technique, you can rewrite your memory of an unpleasant event. Now be cautious that I use the word rewrite, not forget, not delete, not overwrite. I use the word rewrite specifically because rewriting a memory would mean that you are changing how the event happened in your memory, but the original one still exists. But now that you have a better, more pleasant version of that memory, then your brain wouldn't pay attention to the unpleasant original one. You will understand this better as we go along in the video. Whereas if you were to overwrite your memory, it would mean that you literally deleted the original one and replaced it with something else. And if you were to forget or delete a memory, then that means you basically have no memory whatsoever of the event. So deleting or overwriting a memory is different. Revision is used specifically to rewrite your memory, alright? After you get really experienced in it, you may be sort of be able to overwrite your memory as well using this. But it's mainly to rewrite your memory. And I would say this technique is mostly targeted towards people who can't stop thinking about stressful events of the past. Let's say an unpleasant event happened to Flan at about 8am early in the morning. Now after the unpleasant event has passed, Flan is just a little bit shocked by what happened. So she spends quite a while after the event just repeating the event again and again in her head by visualizing it causing more stress for her. Then she goes along her day telling other people about what happened, which may cause her more stress because she will remember it more now. And whenever she recalls the event, she gets a little bit stressed by it, so she decides to never think about it again. Have you experienced something like this scenario before? So this is the type of thinking which keeps a person in a state of stress even of this even after the stress has ended long ago. This is one of the root causes to a number of psychological issues which we will talk about some other time. And in this particular scenario, most people tend to just distract themselves from thinking about the problem or the unpleasant event. But I believe revision is a better and more fun way to deal with this rather than distracting yourself by watching television or listening to me me music meaninglessly or taking alcohol etc. After learning about revision and applying it for a while, Unlike Flan here, you would actually laugh and smile uncontrollably after recalling an unpleasant event. Trust me. And that's because using revision, we are going to rewrite an unpleasant event into, an, into a pleasant one. So let's get down to how you can rewrite your memory of, a, of an unpleasant event, I mean. It's very simple actually. Let's say a very unpleasant and stressful event happened to you or occurred in your life and you can't stop thinking about it. And the more you think about it, the more stressed out you get. So to rewrite it, to rewrite your memory of that event, you just have to relive the event in your head as if it's literally happening again. Then re while reliving it, you just remove everything you find stressful in it and replace it with something positive and funny. I hope this makes sense. So let me repeat. To rewrite a memory of an unpleasant event, Relive it. Relive it. Visualize as if it's happening again. See what you saw, hear what you heard, and feel what you felt. And then remove everything stressful that happened in it. And replace those stressful moments with something joyous. Something joyful. Well, visualizing the revised event, be sure to be as much illogical about it as you can. I mean, you can even use imagining characters in it. You can bring in unicorns, bring in Naruto or Goku or Sherlock Holmes or Shiro Khan in between the event and make them do something funny or hilarious. The premise of all of this being that you have to be as illogical as you can while reliving the event. Because the more illogical the visualization would be, the more shocking and the more striking it would appear to your brain. The more shocking and the more striking it is, the more easier it would be to remember it. So if the revised event is easier to recall than the actual original event, then whenever your brain tries to recall the original event, automatically you start thinking about the revised event, 
causing you to smile a little, causing you to relax. And then when you look at the actual original event, you won't feel stress anymore. I hope this makes sense. You would understand understand this much much better when you practically apply it a couple of times. So the reason this technique or mental technology works is on the basis of two concepts, and understanding them would enhance the practicality of it. So I request you to concentrate on what I'm about to say and bear with me a little. Number one, revision works on the concept that our brain, or more specifically the system of our five senses, the nervous system, cannot differ from the images we see in front of us or the images we see in our heads. Let me rephrase that. Our senses do not know the difference between reality and imagination because our senses react the same with both of them. The best example would be that if you picture a favorite dish and its complete deliciousness in front of you when you, are, when you are feeling really really hungry, your mouth starts to water as if the food is really there. Another example would be that if we have any sort of sexual thought in our head, it makes our heart rate and makes us a little, little excited. And all of this is because our five senses react to the pictures we see in our head as if they are real. So if you relive an event in your head, your brain thinks it's real. For your brain and for your senses, it's happening again. The event is happening again. Con concept number two. Weird, shocking or unusual things are easily remembered by the brain. Or rather, if anything happens out of the ordinary, then the scenario will give a slight shock to your brain, thus causing you to be highly alert for that moment, which will imprint that scene in your, in your head very clearly. So in that sense, it becomes easy to recall. You may not know how you spent every single day of the past year, but you would more easily be able to recall what you were doing on special occasions like what you were doing at, at a certain party or what you were doing when a tragedy occurred or how you spent your time on a certain picnic or what you were doing on your birthday last year etc. So the way we introduce the element of unusual weirdness and shock is by making our revised events as illogical as it can get. You do revision in your head so there is no limit to your imagination. You can make it flood and then breathe in water. You can defy gravity in it, you can collapse buildings and then in the end make them come back up. You can have giant trees, you can change the graphics of the events and make it look like as if it's happening in a cartoon or anime-like format. There is simply no limit to what you can do while revising. Your imagination is limitless. So give it a, give it a try. It wouldn't hurt, would it? So let's come to the end of the video and summarize what we have learned. In this video we discussed about what revision is, which is a technique which we can use to rewrite our memory. We discussed about how we can go about doing it, that is reliving the event and removing everything unpleasant from it. And we discussed briefly about why it works, which is on the basis of two concepts. And as far as the benefits of this technique are concerned, you would best understand them by putting it to practice. Nothing teaches a person better than the practicality of what they have learned. So Give it a try if an unpleasant memory were to bother your, your head ever again. And when you experience the amazing benefits, give, give us a feedback in the comment section so that others can read and get motivated for doing it as well. If you have any questions, comments or feedbacks, you are welcomed and highly encouraged to comment and let us know about it. If you like what we presented in this video and would like more of such videos, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you very very much for watching and see you later folks.